experiments today are going to draw optical illusion. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. This is a really fun lesson. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first and then a marker. You also need paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first use our pencil and we're going to draw a bunch of ovals to create a three dimensional form first. So it might look like a donut or a cake when we're done. Let's start here and I'm going to draw an oval shape that comes out really far to each side. So we use up our paper or most of our paper. So I'm going to go back over it to make it darker so our art friends can see the line on the camera. But you guys can press lightly so that it's easier to erase. Good job. That's awesome. Now you can also use your eraser and erase any guidelines or extra guidelines that you don't want to keep. Next we're going to repeat that same oval except we're going to draw it lower. So I'm going to leave a little space, maybe add a guide point and then leave that same space down here and add another guide point. So use your eyes to measure the same distance. And then we're going to draw another oval that matches the first one. So we want to come out to the same distance out here and then we're going to come down across to the other side. I'm going to go over it a couple times to make sure it's dark enough and then also make sure it's the right shape. There we go. Should look the same as the first one. Oh, oh there's my point. That's okay. Keep going. You're doing great. Good job. And then you can also use your eraser again to erase that extra guideline. Now let's connect the two ovals together on the left and also over here on the right. Then we can switch to our eraser and erase the inside guideline. So I'm going to erase this little corner over here, also over here on this side. And then we're even going to erase the inside line too. We sped up the erasing part, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time to erase your extra guidelines. Now we have a form instead of two oval shapes. What form is this called? A cylinder. Yeah, a cylinder. Kind of looks like a cake or pancake, a flat cake. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to switch back to our pencil and we're going to turn our form, our cylinder, into kind of a donut shape. So we're going to draw another oval inside, but it's it's almost like we're drawing it on top of the cylinder. So we're making it look more like a donut shape where the inside is missing from our cylinder. A square donut. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. And then you can erase the extra guidelines. It should look like we cut out the top of our cylinder. Now let's make it look more three dimensional on the inside. So see the side of our cylinder right here. We want to use our eyes to measure that distance and we're going to add a side to the inside of our cylinder. So <laughs> we're going to draw another curve that comes across like this. So it should just be kind of a rainbow line that goes through the middle of our cylinder. We want it to be the same height on each side. Yeah, there you go. And then you can erase the extra line. Hadley, we did it. It looks like a square donut, except it doesn't look like an optical illusion. Yeah. So this next part, we're going to change the right side so that it tricks our eye and makes it look really weird. So let's first start with this inside line right here. We're going to curve around and we're going to connect to the middle line right here. So we're going to add a curve. It's going to curve around from there and then connect to the middle line down here. Yes. Next, we're going to come up to the middle line on the top part. So this one right here and we're going to curve around. We're going to curve down over to the side and then connect into the bottom line. I'm going to draw this again, maybe change it a little bit, this one, so that it's a little more pointy. Yeah, you did it. Come all the way on this curve, come all the way out to the side uh, right here. Okay.
Now we have these extra lines inside. So let's erase this bottom one first. And then we can erase the next one above it, right here. There might be a little extra guideline on the corner inside of this top shape. Yeah, now I'm gonna go back over this right here and just darken it in a little bit more so that our friends can see it. And this top one I'm gonna darken in too. So hopefully that makes it a little easier to see how it should look like when we're all done. Now let's switch to our marker and we're gonna darken in all of the guidelines. We're gonna trace over, I'm gonna start on this inside line right here. I'm gonna draw on top of the pencil line. I'm gonna come around over to this side and it's gonna keep going. Look how it almost looks like one of those infinite loops. Yeah, that's We're gonna weird. keep going. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then it can even come down over here. I'm gonna keep going all the way over. I haven't lifted up my marker once until I got to there. I can't see, so I have to. Have to <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's that's why I usually turn my papers sideways. That makes it easier sometimes. Good job, and then keep going. You're doing it. <laughs> you did it, good job. Now let's come back over here. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways again and I'm gonna draw on the inside here. Trace around, up, over to the top. And then on this side, I'm gonna connect in right here at the very end. It's making my eyes do weird things. See how the, now the shape changes. It almost looks like you could turn it this way Oh, that's weird. It's wow. the same, it looks the same. Let's switch again to our, our eraser and erase all of the guidelines that you can still see okay. underneath the marker. Now we're ready to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We're using our biannual markers to color our drawings with and the color we're using is Y107. This is our favorite yellow we use for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're coloring the entire drawing with yellow first. Then we're gonna use our colored pencils. I have an orange colored pencil. I think this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna use this for shading. And you keep going with your marker. I'm gonna switch to my colored pencil. I'm gonna press really hard on this inside part. But as I move to the right, I'm gonna press lighter and and lighter so that it has a gradient or a gradation. That means it starts dark and then slowly lightens until it gets to the yellow. Look at that, looks like shading. Yeah, that looks cool. Does that make it look more three-dimensional? Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like a shadow in here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna repeat that same process or the same step. I'm gonna start really dark on the right side and then as I move to the center, I'm gonna get lighter and lighter until it fades out completely and blends to the yellow. I'm gonna repeat that same shading step now on the outside. So I'm gonna start over here, press really hard or firm, and then lighter and lighter until we fade completely out. And if you want to, you can also flip your paper upside down to repeat this same step over here. Sometimes I think, think it's easier to turn my paper upside down or sideways. I'm gonna repeat the same step, press really hard on the outside, and then gradually get lighter towards the center. There. That looks so perfect. You did a great job on adding the gradation or the shading. Thank you. I wanted to make the shading a, a little darker on the inside right here. So I switched to a brown color pencil. This one's Burnt Ochre Prisma Color. And the orange we use is just called orange. <laughs> Hallie, your shading is looking so perfect. You're doing a great job. Keep going. You are too. Ah, oh, thanks. And you can add the brown on top of your orange. I think I'm gonna also add a layer of black. We'll see. We're gonna add it here first and just a little bit. I'm gonna press lightly 
and just add a little extra dark shadow on the inside. Well, that looks cool. I'm gonna repeat that over here too. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our optical illusion, and I love how three-dimensional it looks, and it's really messing with my eyes. Same, it's making my head hurt. <laughs> I love that we drew a three-dimensional form, and then we changed it to make it into an optical illusion. I also love that we only used a yellow marker, and then we used three colored pencils to add the shading to make it look even more three-dimensional. So orange is a great color to use when you're shading a yellow object. And then you can also use brown and black to make it look even darker. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your optical illusion. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.